Welcome back to this episode of In A Minute. Today is March 28th and I'm your host, Christian. We are in the midst of spring sports and we take a look into our first strength and conditioning coach that has helped these sports achieve great accomplishments during this year, Coach Tootin. Uh, my favorite thing about teaching weightlifting is seeing the process of people grow uh, physically and mentally. Um, you know, we got a lot of people who come in, this may be their first time experiencing something like the weight room um, and just watching them progress over the entire semester um, is something that really uh, gives me fulfillment and enjoyment at the end of this the whole process. Hey, try to get with a group that's going to push you a little bit. If you're dusting everybody in your group, switch it up. All right, get with somebody who's more even with you. Um, I would say our athletes should want to join the weightlifting class uh, just because the benefits it's going to give them on the in their sport, um, you know, from strength, power, uh, explosiveness, speed, agility, and even you know, some of them gaining some mass on their bodies and just gaining some muscle. Um, all of those things are going to benefit them on the field or court, whatever sport they play. Uh oh, uh oh. Come on, Mason! Winner, Mason! I would say the main thing I want to accomplish is just building a, a positive culture in the weight room and an uh, uh, area where kids enjoy and want to come get better and hopefully that will carry over to our athletics program and, and lead to success on the field um, because of the work we're putting in the weight room. Last night, Fury Softball earned a pair of region wins over Southside. Baseball got a complete game from Braden Passmore but fell to BHP 1-0. Congratulations to the boys' tennis team for earning their first varsity win on the road at Southside. And track and field hosted their second home meet of the season. Jalen brings us a few highlights from the meet. Launch Greenville is accepting applications for paid summer internships through April 5th. Check out their website for more information about available opportunities. On April 20th, the Fury Booster Club will host their annual car show. Registration begins at 10 a.m. that morning, and students are welcome to register their vehicles for a chance at prizes. Reminder that Monday, April 8th will be an e-learning day due to the timing of the solar eclipse. Tonight, boys soccer hosts Wren, while the girls travel to the Hurricanes. Boys tennis also welcomes Wren to the 4-4. Lacrosse will be on the road at East Side. There is no school tomorrow, but baseball and softball will be in action as softball travels to Wade Hampton and varsity baseball heads to BHP for a region game. In a minute, we'll be off next week. We will return April 10th. Keep up to date on all our events while we are off by following us on social media. See you on the 10th Fury.